Okay, today I'm going to walk you through a rhyming lesson uh, called Hungry Monster. And I have, you can have any objects you want on the table. And what's going to happen is you have a hungry monster and he wants to eat something. He's going to tell you what it is he wants to eat and then you're going to tell the children. What the teacher is going to be doing is making a nonsense word. The children are going to look at the objects on the table and then tell you what word rhymes with the nonsense word that the monster wants to eat. So um, I would first explain to them the objects on the table. I would say this is a fish, this is a book, this is a cup, and this is a car. And then I'd say my hungry monster really, really is hungry and he's telling me, so he's telling me in my ear what he wants to eat. Then I'll say, oh, hungry monster really wants to eat a took. And so what you're listening for is the response, no, no, he doesn't want a took, he wants a book. Now, if they can't get that, what you can do, if uh, you're not getting responses, you can say, well, he wants to eat a took. Does he want to eat a fish or a book? And then that'll kind of clue them in a little bit about what you're looking for. Um, and then I would take that off the table and then have the remainder items and I would do, do it again. Oh, he's still hungry. He really wants to eat a bish. Uh, what does he want to eat, boys and girls? They'll say, oh, he wants to eat a fish, right? Fish and bish are rhyming words. And I would probably emphasize that after every object that he eats, I'd say fish rhymes with bish. And then we do the game. We would do the game again.